What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the next video on learning Python. My name is Qt Yazdani and you guys are watching my channel Coriwood. Alright, so we have uh, finished control flow and uh, we have uh, finished uh, loop, Python loop. Alright, so in this uh, video, from now on we're going to start the functions. And um, we're going to go through functions, we're going to go through modules and uh, from there we come going to come back from the functions in this video i'm going to go slowly in uh, in build functions what is in build functions then we're going to go i'm going to show you guys what is module so and then after that we're going to come to function definitions we're going to show uh, how to call functions what is functions and uh, how to use functions inside the classes all right so what is function functions in python is a reusable block of code so whatever you guys uh, seen before if you have uh, you guys seen that um, we have used um, for example for whatever uh, for x in range for x in range even though this is a for it loops it there but this is in build function inside the python because this one as i said to you guys you guys can start and then you guys can stop and then you guys can step so this is in build function that is already defined somewhere inside the python as you guys are going to see here you guys just use it without even uh, you guys need to know what this function perform uh, what it's going to do and how we're going to use it that's it so but because this function somewhere inside the python library is installed is uh, defined and it's already written where is this library this this is called somewhere in module it's in python this is called module so it's, for example this is in build function in uh, python log, uh, what is this function this is uh, minimum what is this uh, in build function this is a maximum what is this in build function this is len you guys can can't do any of this you guys can't define your own range so if you go in range then python assumes you guys uh say python say if you guys gonna put a four i in range you guys can you guys can define it yourself because already defined in python you guys can you guys need to put something else inside your foot even if you put a range here you're going to get an error because this range is already defined somewhere in python you guys cannot use it so a lot of uh, other reserved words inside the python uh, that you guys can use the len you guys can use the max min you guys can use the range there is a lot of uh, uh, other functionalities inside the met module you guys can use it like factorial you guys can use a factorial because it's already in build function inside the met module inside the python all right so this is in build function that uh, you guys use it all the time we've been using all the time so how about if you put this for somewhere inside the function because now if you uh, say for example uh, use this for once and that's it so what about the next uh, like you go and guys gonna go and say uh, now is the line three now you guys gonna need again in line 16 so in uh, another my another say if i have here uh, 10 pages or uh, uh, t uh, like 100 pages uh, what if i need this same uh, for loop inside all of them say for example but what do you guys think is it easier for me to write my for loop nested for loop like for example we have a multiplication table so if i need a multiplication table in five say i have a five say for example if here uh, virtual environment and if you go to library a lot of uh, files here as you guys are gonna see is i it's got a pip it's got a wheel it's got a virtual environment path so what about if i knew use this uh, multiplication table as i show you guys in the nested for loop if i need it in all of them do i need to go and this, do, put my uh, say uh, four in all of them say if i go to four i in range for example and uh, i'm going from uh, one to ten for example and uh, now i'm going for uh, J in uh, range so I'm going from uh, 1 till 11 all right so if I need a multiplication table for example and if I do all my multiple is it easier for me to go and write on all of them one by one or easier for me to just create your a multiplication table say for example if I copy this one and uh, I come here and I put in my function whatever I do function say uh, not this one so if i is it easier for me to come here and define function and uh, i'm gonna put a multi application table so
So is it easy for me to put whatever here in multiplication table and just put all, all I need to do come here and put my, uh, say for example, if I make a short to MT, M table, our multi table, for example. All right, so now I have a function and uh, what's the purpose of this function? The purpose of this function is to do multiplication table for me. So is it easier for me to got just go in every, all of them, I'm just gonna put a, uh, just put it like this, multi function or uh, multi table, for example. Our, uh, do I go in, in every, all of them and start writing my code all the, all in, all in all time? Uh, again and again and again and again how long is gonna I'm gonna waste so much time uh, writing in all of them one by one all my multiplication table if I want to put my multiplication table especially guys making a game is it's gonna be headache for you guys because if you guys go there and put a if else if else if else like a procedural if else if else if it's gonna take you days but the only other option for me so in programming we, we have something called drive it's called dry do not repeat yourself because as programmer we are lazy people we don't want to repeat uh, write our programs all the big so we use a block of code and this block of code called functions so if I have a function multi table multiplication table all I need to do is go in every file and I am gonna call my multiplication table and I need to put a reference in all of these files say uh, all of them if you look in, in these functions they importing something if you look in here they import something like here and they put a dot dot do override see this this do override is a function inside this module because this is importing from the main java main sorry main python file somewhere so you guys shouldn't shouldn't be touching this thing because this is system files and you guys should should stay away just i'm just giving you example don't you guys don't ever go there and touch anything inside this, this file or modify anything because it's library root file so don't touch i just was telling you guys to just for example you guys never ever go and touch anything inside this file whatever you guys gotta do just just do it here functions whatever you guys need python project create a project and do it here way when it says that virtual environment do not touch in binary or uh, library files so i was just giving you guys example just go there and stay away from these files here all right so it, it, it says external libraries and if you guys go in here, look in here it's got a python 3.8 and that's python 3.8 have a lot of already in built look in here that's how it's got a square light and all of them's modules tk inter and whatever you guys are going to see they all uh, you are a lib they all modules inside the python because they already defined they have a uh, lots of functionalities and say for example you are a lib is a very useful function if you guys learning search engine because it's got a parse it's got a request dot py it's got a response robot parser that's a url lib and i'm going to show you guys in future videos there when we go go on, go on in python search i'm going to show you guys how to create a bot how to create a robot and how to, your robot goes and parse the websites but it's too advanced at this point of time you guys need to learn the functions and classes first then we're going to go in the virtual environment you are you are a lib tk inter very useful sqlite very useful that's a database you guys can use a json for search engine import lib you guys can uh, use a html http encoding email the all modules the all modules inside the python so if there is a model how then how are we going to use the models all right so now we're going to come here and uh, we're going to see the functions because i'm going to i just wanted to show you guys the function first and the functions we're going to set aside and now we're going to go on the module because if you it's a lot fun to for you guys to learn module before functions and then we once you when you guys become very familiar with the uh, modules then we're going to come back to functions and we're going to start our functions then we're going to go towards the classes and then we go towards the other ones topics of uh, object oriented in uh, python all right so now we're going to go on uh, modules okay so modules are uh, reusable libraries of the of code that can be imported and used in your program as you guys are going to see that uh, external libraries and as i say to you guys this ones the old modules and i show you guys before here python 3.8 the old modules inside the python 
So modules are reusable libraries of code that can be imported and used in your program. So you all you guys need to do is just import it. That's it. So you guys going to come here and um, say, for example, if you guys want to use TK Enter, you just import it. If you guys want to use URL lib, just import it. You Whatever functions you guys need, you guys need to come just import it. So you guys looking here, there are lots of lots of files inside the Python is in build files that you guys should not touch or uh, you all you guys if you guys needs to use the uh, Python modules, you guys needs to come here and just use it. So Python modules are Python query source file, as I show you guys here, that contains function classes and variables. So all of the each module uh, is have a class and it has a function. And if you look in here, it has a class functions inside the util. For example, if you open the util, it's importing the OS. Uh, that's a, a module is importing the sh shootil is support importing the sys so all of them they are modules and they're just importing and they're using inside here if you look in here they have a lots and lots and lots of functions and uh, you guys gonna leak there however it's uh, gonna like uh, uh, 386 lines of code and as i say to you guys this is a function test that's what python brings this function and that you use it so you don't know how many codes of line inside the function of test instead of python write all these functions here they just put they just call this function they just call this function here all right so we're going to set this aside and i request you guys again do not touch anything inside here do not modify anything other your files your python is going to break down all right so uh, long story short, we kind of come here and says that uh, you guys need to put an extension and uh, the end you guys need to see this one, PY. So as I said to you guys, you just, just import the module name and if you want to use it, you just use it with the dot. So as, I sh as we've seen here, we have a import sys, we're going to import met. So if you import met, uh, we can see the square root, we can see the pi. So for example, we're going to come and do that, uh, we're going to put import and uh, we're gonna import math module. Now we know what is a uh, module, what is uh, in build functions, and what is in uh, modules, so that now we get confident, we can come here and uh, we can import math, and uh, if you copy from here, and I'm gonna put it here, now I'm gonna find out the square root of four. So before I uh, have imported the Met, if I take it out, you're going to look at here, it uh, it goes to grayish. But if I put it here, it means I'm using this module. All right, so I'm going to run. And if you guys look in here, because I'm importing met, and I'm going to see the square root of uh, 4. Because all I'm, I'm, I'm doing to see the square root of 4 is 2. All right, so now we're going to use again. And we're going to come here. And uh, that's pi, sorry for that. That shouldn't be that doesn't have a e so if you're gonna come and put this one here we're gonna see that uh, so if you guys notice here we're putting dot in between so that's a mate module because we're importing the mate and that's a functionality inside the module so that's what we're using that one so if you come here with the pi because and that's a pi if you guys know that uh, in met pi is 3.1415926535897913 so you guys should uh, should know this one by heart because that's a pi because pi is fixed you guys don't see this one here and here when you guys going to see here the parameter or argument here you guys need to know because square root needs a number but pi doesn't need a number because it's fixed in math because we all know that pi is fixed but the square root because it needs argument say you guys need to provide some sort of uh, number here if uh, you guys printing math and the, the math modules and if we go is going to square root and then the square root is going to ask you what square root of what square root of 100 you guys it needs a number it needs an argument here but pi doesn't need the argument that's the difference between this one so if you gonna come here and say put 100 then we're going to see the square root of uh, say 100 so if you go go back say you're going to go that square root of 100 is 10 all right, so if you go and uh, use this factorial, if you guys look in here, we can use the factorial as well. So I'm gonna put it down, and uh, we're gonna use the factorial of 10. What's the factorial of 10? It's gonna be huge number. 
and that's going to be this is the factorial of 10 so that's in built python made so how about if you guys need to say for example floor and ceiling for example but if you guys going to come here and you put a ceiling we're going to get error so if i put it here you know if i put a print and if i put a mate dot sc link uh, ceiling of what i'm going to want to find the ceiling one one dot two for example i'm going to get error so you guys know here that we python now we're going to be pumping into error we are now we can't because now we're importing ceiling and if you look in here we're getting error why are we getting error because ceiling it says is not defined why is not defined because it's already inside the mat yeah okay for that one you guys need to put another one so you guys need to put a mat and then uh, you guys need to put a now you guys need to change the way you guys uh, are importing the mat so we're going to put a, a comment here now you guys need to put a difference so if you guys need to put a from mat import so now from mate module you guys importing something what are you guys importing you go we are gonna import uh, say uh, floor and ceiling so if you're gonna put a uh, if i need if you guys need to put a say ceiling or floor you guys need to now you're gonna you going to see that this coming by itself now you guys importing ceiling and what else you guys need to import so we need the floor as well and now you guys gonna see now we from mat we are uh, imp uh, putting ceiling and floor and if you look in now mat's got a problem why mat's got a problem because you guys need to import mat as well all right so now you guys going to see that this is going to go where so the first part is you guys need to put a uh, import mat and the second part you guys going to see that import mat ceiling and floor what you guys want from the mat you guys need to import ceiling all right so we're going to run and we're going to see here uh, it shouldn't be this one here and uh, you can see here sorry about that one that was uh, shouldn't be there that was comma it should be period so you guys going to see here and if i put this one copy put it here and if i put a floor floor and now you guys are going to see that it's going to show me the floor and you see that the floor is one and the ceiling is two and uh, there is another way to for you guys if you want see every every now and then uh say import mat as uh, you guys can gonna see x for example now this mat is not gonna work why because now you guys imported mat as x why are you guys putting x this is called alias a guys needs to alias this now this x represent this mat so now you guys don't you can you guys can't put a mat here because now you put a as as means uh, import mat but in my program i want to use x as a mat i can use mat here so you guys don't want to use a uh, mat but if you guys going to put x this is going to disappear so you look in here now the x is disappeared but the rest is not disappears here so if you run you're going to get uh, this one's okay but the rest you're going to get error so in order for me to i um, just want to see one error i don't want to see a lot of errors so if you come here so you're looking here that uh, uh, mate is not defined and if you look in here that the square root is 100 is 10 but the mate pi mate dot pi is not defined but if you change it you put a say x dot pi it's going to be all goody goody so if you look in here we have no problem so that's what you guys uh, with the module you guys can do this and you guys this is a lot a lot you guys are going to see this in artificial intelligence you guys are going to see you guys can do this like i say uh, uh, for machine learning you guys can uh, import all the python libraries inside the mate you guys are going to see inside the science technology whatever libraries modules inside the python and python have a huge huge libraries inside the from the machine learning all the way to artificial intelligence intelligence all the way to biology all the way to engineering all the way to every python has touched every uh, aspects of science and i'm telling you guys it has a huge library 
from uh, stock exchange it has all the way to uh, stocks it has for businesses from biology it has for uh, geology from uh, physiotherapy to doctors to medical every field you can imagine they use python every field you can imagine from the from the game all the way to youtube even youtube uses python even facebook they use python and a lot of uh, artificial intelligence inside the youtube is uh, already built inside the python already written in python python libraries and python modules they use a lot heavily python search engines such as google they use heavily python and it's built inside the python so python is huge and very very popular uh, through this module and this module makes it so much easy for everyone to use python because it has offer you guys a lot of functionality and is offers you guys say in uh, just a one module we have we use uh, with just a few code you guys can uh, use a lot of functionality say for example we're gonna come here and we put a uh, x dot e because in math you guys there is a e and if you guys gonna come here and it's gonna show you e straight away and that's our pi and that's our e inside the med just one one line of code you guys can if you guys don't want to use this x you just put a mat here you can put a mat or if you guys can put say for example you can put your name import mem as uh, for example uh, uh, katie for example and now you guys need to put katie here and now you guys can put a katie because python now know this myth resides inside this catty so you guys can uh, alias actually you guys can uh, and if you look in here we're getting the same result because now we put them from med import mev as catty because now python knows this catty now only know this catty as a myth module so for example you guys can truncate as well so if you put a print uh, catty dot if you look in here they're already there and what you guys want to do 100 say 45.50 uh, for example all right so now we're going to see and now you're going to see is truncate is 145 uh, what is truncate truncate removes the fraction so we renamed the python uh, as a catty our x our xyz you can put yes danny you can put a uh, any num name you guys want michael george whatever you guys want to put and python is going to work exactly for you no problem you guys uh, can use all of them say for example the next one is you guys want to use time you guys can use time as well all right so now uh, if you kind of come and uh, say uh, time if you copy if you're going to copy here and we're going to say for example we're gonna remove you guys can leave it up to you you guys uh, so you guys can practice say for a import time and you guys can uh, put a time as uh, t for example as t or time whatever you guys want to put it and you guys need to put a time uh, t dot and here if you look in here if you don't put uh, any any renaming or anything you guys just um, put it put a time so if you guys don't put a rename just put a time here if you don't whatever you guys put it here you guys need to put it here so you put a a c t dot a c time t so you want to print the time there or you can uh, print come here and uh, put a print And you can uh, paste your time here so now you guys gonna see the actual time as uh, we're recording this video is uh, Friday 6 10 33 because the time is 10 it's a Friday it's the sixth as the time of the recording of this video this 10 33 uh, 19 as uh, we are uh, printing this one so it's 10 33 in the morning and i'm recording this one and that's you guys are going to find out through this module which is called time 
So that's the modules inside the Python. And the pre in the next video, we're going to go again on the modules in a few models. There are function modules. There are uh, TK inter models. And uh, we're going to show you guys all the modules. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. If you have any question or comment, leave it in the comment box. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye.